This is section 12.6, and we are going to clump surface area and volume of spheres in one section. So remember, surface area is in units squared. Volume is in units cubed. So a little bit of vocabulary. Um, we have this thing called the great circle, and it's a circle formed when a plane intersects a sphere with its center in the plane, so it creates the base of a hemisphere. So in section one, we talked about the cross section. So this is actually going through the center, and it is the great circle, the biggest circle that you could make if you intersect that sphere. Um, so that also would be the base of a hemisphere. A hemisphere is just half of the sphere. A pole, um, if you think of the North Pole and the South Pole, um, it's just the endpoints of the diameter of the great circle. So um, each great circle has two endpoints. Um, if you think if I cut that, um, the world or the globe in half, I have a North Pole and a South Pole, that would be um, my great circle as well. Hemisphere, one of the two congruent parts into which the great circle separates the sphere. So we have a northern hemisphere and a southern hemisphere on the globe. You talk about that in geometry or in geography. So the hemisphere is created by half of a sphere, and then it has a base as a circle. All right, so we're going to talk about surface area first. So the surf surface area of a sphere, the total circle, so like a softball, a volleyball, a soccer ball, your surface area is 4 pi r squared. Remember, the radius is the only thing that is squared. If you were talking about a hemisphere, it's going to be 3 pi r squared. And um, just a little background, if you take half of this surface area, because we're taking half of it, but we also have to include a base, which is pi r squared, so that's how we get the three in front of there. All right, so we're gonna find the surface area of the sphere and round to the nearest tenth. So um, sphere, four pi r squared, so I'm gonna say four pi, my radius is 4.5. I am only going to square the 4.5. Make sure that happens, don't square everything. Your surface area is going to be 254.5 inches squared. All right, go ahead and check your progress. I will give you the answer, but make sure you are showing all of your work just to verify that you are getting the right answer. That will be something that we are checking for. So the answer is given here, but you need to show all of your work. All right, the great circle and find the surface area. So notice this is a hemisphere, so we're going to use the 3 pi r squared. So I'm going to say 3 pi, my radius is 3.7. I'm only going to square the 3.7, so I'm going to get 129.0 millimeters squared. All right, find the surface area of a sphere if the circumference of the great circle, circumference of the great circle is 10 pi feet. What can we find with the information given? Well, we know a circle has an area formula of pi r squared. There's a few different ways you could do this if you wanted to. Um, because the great circle is just a 2D object, if it was me, my first thought would tell me to do 10 pi equals pi r squared. And then I am going to find my radius. So I would divide both sides by pi. 10 equals r squared. And if you noticed, I have made an error because that says circumference. So I need to back up and tell myself that the circumference formula is 2 pi r. Goodness, what am I doing? All right, so my circumference, let's start over, is 10 pi equals 2 pi r. Solving for my radius because that's what I need in here. I'm going to divide both sides by 2 pi. My pi's cancel. So 10 divided by 2, so that would be 5 equals my radius. Then I'm going to 
plug that in there for my surface area. So my surface area equals 4 pi 5 squared. So I can leave it in... Sorry about that. I could leave it in terms of pi or I can just solve. Um, so I could get 100 pi feet squared, which is approximately 314.2 feet squared. All right, so next, find the surface area of a sphere if the given area of the great circle is 200 or 220 meters squared. So here is what I was trying to do before. So the area is approximately 220. And I know the area of a circle is pi r squared. So there we go. Um, I'm going to divide first by pi because I know I need to get the radius. So 220 divided by pi gives me approximately 70.02817 to be r squared. To solve for r, I'm going to square root that. So my radius is about 8. 0.368. So once I find my radius, I'm then going to put it, it into my surface area of a sphere, the total. So the total one is 4 pi r squared. Remember, hemisphere is only 3. So 4 pi, my radius squared, 8.368 squared. So when I do that and I only square the radius, I get 878 meters squared. All right, go ahead and try the next three check your progresses. Remember, I will only give you the answers, so you must show your work as to how you got those answers. There are the three answers that are given. All righty, volume of a sphere. So remember, the difference between surface area and volume, the surface area is just what's on the outside. So if you think about an egg, that shell part is going to be your surface area. If you hard boil the egg, once you um, peel off the shell, how much of that egg fills up is the volume. So that's why we're in unit squared. So the volume formula is 4 thirds pi r cubed. And I remember the difference in surface area and um, volume, I know this is in units squared, and so if you notice, my radius is, or units cubed, this is going to tell me that my radius is cubed also. Um, and if you don't know how to cube anything on your calculator, you need to make sure you do find that out. Um, and then for a hemisphere, it is half of a sphere, so I'm gonna take one half, Four of the four-thirds, which gives me the two-thirds pi r cubed. So that is how you get your um, formula, which is two-thirds pi r cubed. All right, so <clears throat> I need to find the volume of a sphere. So volume of a sphere tells me I need to use the four-thirds. With a great circle circumference of 30 centimeter or 30 pi. Circumference, remember, is 2 pi r. So I need to find the radius to plug in there. So 30 pi equals 2 pi r. Solve for that radius. Divide by 2 pi. So my radius is going to equal 15. All right, so after my radius equals 15, I'm going to just plug it into this R right here. So I'm going to follow that volume formula. 4 thirds pi 15 is cubed. So once I have that, how would Miss House um, put this into your calculator? I would do 15 caret and then 3. That would give me my 15 cubed times pi times, and I'm going to do four-thirds this way. You may have a different way to do it that is totally fine. So my answer is 14, 137 point two centimeters cubed. Those units need to be labeled correctly. 
All right, moving on. Find the volume of the hemisphere if my diameter is six feet. So your diameter is fixed six feet, but in your formula, you only need your radius. So that would be three. Three would go there. So just following your formula. Two thirds pi three cubed. Just again, how do we do that? I'm gonna do three carat three. So that's three raised to the third times pi times, and I'm going to put two-thirds in these parentheses. You may do it a different way. So my answer is 56.5 feet cubed. All right, if you will stop this ch uh, video and check your progress, and remember, make sure you are um, writing that work down. All right, and here are your answers for those two check your progresses. Just verify that you are getting those correct answers there. All right, last one. The stone spheres in Costa Rica were made by forming boulders into spheres. One of the stone spheres has a volume of about 36,000 pi cubic inches. What is the diameter of the stone? What is the diameter of the stone? Well, we know that one, it's a sphere. So, um, and I'm talking about volume. So my volume formula for a sphere is four thirds pi r cubed. And I know the only thing I can really get out of this volume is my radius, but I know how to go from radius to diameter. I'm just gonna multiply my radius by two. So let's plug in and let's see what we can do. So I have um, my volume is 36,000 pi equals 4 thirds pi r cubed. I'm trying to get that radius by itself. So first I am going to, there's a few different ways you could do this, but um, I'm going to multiply both sides by 3 over 4. And I do that because um, I want to get rid of my fraction here. So the, I'm going to bring this down, pi r cubed equals, and then I need to say in my calculator, um, 3 fourths times 3600. So when I do that, I get 27 thousand pi and again how do you do that or how does miss house do that in her calculator 36 times and then i'm going to do three over four which will give me that twenty-seven thousand. all right and then i'm going to continue to get r by itself you may have gotten pi or got rid of pi first that is totally fine so my pi's cancel so i get twenty-seven thousand equals r cubed. Now if this said r squared, I would take the square root. Since it says cubed, I need to take the cube root. So we need to learn how or remind us how to do that. So I'm going to take my second, I'm sorry, I'm going to take my math and I'm going to go down to this button right here where it says three and then the root button. And then I'm just going to put in whatever number I need and push enter. So my radius becomes 30. Don't mind that little screen. 30 inches and then I know that my diameter would be times 2 so that would be 60 inches. All right if you will go ahead and do your check your progress with the, all of your work down here is your answer. Thank you for sticking with me through this video. It was a little bit of crazy, but um, that concludes section six.